Okay, now we're going to meet the showman. This is a bloke called Craig, fantastic guy. Craig, say good day to YouTube. Morning, all. And tell us about your ride. Oh, we've got the teacups here, it's for the little ones. Yeah, you have a spin, you make them sick. How much? Uh, $5 for 3 for 12 Fantastic stuff. And she goes for about two and a half minutes. And does this compact down into one big truck? Uh, just like a uh, trailer. A trailer, okay. Uh, yeah. How long have you been doing it, Craig? Uh, about five years on and off. Okay. How'd you come into showman? I just walked on the paddock, asked for a job, and yeah, been here ever since. I like it. Where were you from originally? Uh, Gibney. Okay. Gibney. Nice stuff. Yeah. Alright, thanks, mate. Love your work. Yep. Cheers. Good one. I'm here with an amazing guy called Corey Tomlins. Corey, say hello to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Corey's got, he's pulling out a, from a suitcase, the unicycle, which we love, as his seat. seat. Hey, you always got to have a seat. Remember that. Always have a seat on your, on your unicycle. And he's a stilt jumper. So we're going to love that. We'll see that later. This is my main. It's a hill. They're all normal. And I chose the six of hearts. They're spades. Six of spades? Six of hearts. No way. Oh, it's okay, g'day to YouTube. Say hello, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. I'm making Woo. the station. Thank oh you. Oh, my goodness. Righto. I'm here with a gentleman and a scholar. One of the true diehards. This is a gentleman called Curly. Um, Curly, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. How long have you been in the carnival? I've been in the carnival for about 55 to 60 years. Really? How'd you start? Well, um, mum and dad was in the carnival and everything like that. And uh, I started off in the Orkneys. I was in the um, in the Orkneys for about uh, 15 years. I escaped from the Orkneys. Uh, <laughs> How'd you do it? How'd you escape? Well, I had to get away, you know, because um, they were um, they were cruel to you. Catholic. And they they used to if you weren't in line they used to hit you with um with um leather straps and uh and they were that cruel you had to uh, mow the lawns and everything like that and uh milk cows you only had an hour of schooling. Where about for In um uh Murray de Wire Orphanage and uh in um in St. John of the Gods. Okay. And, and where, a, where did you first come in contact with the carnival? The carnival was um, in a place called uh, Sydney, Sydney Show. Okay. And uh, did, what was the date for you? Did you go as a customer? No, uh, I sent an advertisement. I was in the mines. I, I worked the mines. I put my age down and I was in the uh, coal mine with the horse and skips and days. And I got skittled in the mines, so I left the mines. And uh, then I seen this um, advertisement and I said, oh, I'll blow this whole uh, go on the mine because my dad and mum's in there, you know. So I got in the mine, um, in the thing and I put it up the big rides and all that. Who, who are you putting them up for? For uh, Teddy Markovich. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, then uh, I left Ted and then I went to, um, what's the name, um, went into uh, Jimmy Sharman's box at 10. And, uh, when did you meet? Do you remember meeting Jimmy? Yeah, I met Jimmy. How'd you meet him? I met him. I, I said to him, I said I'm getting belted around uh, all around Australia, you know. And uh, I said I'm getting sick of getting belted. So I said I want to learn how to fight. He said, All right, you come in and learn how to fight. Do you remember your first fight? First fight would have been uh, about uh, 45 years, 50 years ago. And uh, I fought a bloke called uh, George Sutton. And uh, I fought Georgie Bracken yeah, as a, in, in the tent with uh, Jimmy Sharp and that. And then I uh, happened to uh, be in Brisbane and I went with Jack Kelso, you know, uh, mm. fighting the, um, in the tents and that, uh, in the uh, festival. Yep. And uh, what happened was uh, uh, I ended up uh, doing six and uh, eight rounds, you know, six and eight. And uh, I ended up winning every, every fight. And um, I left there and while the show was on, and then I'd have to go back to the show at Brisbane and uh, 
at the pitch floor and then I had to uh, go to, uh, what's the name, uh, the show and do the fights in uh, Jimmy Sharman then. And then I was left um, Jim and went with uh, Les McNabb, Roy Bell, Selby Moore and show Bobby us, Church. Show me your ear. Oh, i got to see that. Tell me what the ear is called. It's got a name. Oh, the ear. The ear. Oh, the ear, the, the cauliflower the ear. Can I get a close-up? Yeah. Move some of the hair away. Yeah. That's the fair dingle cauliflower. That's a fair dingle cauliflower. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. When you get hit, I didn't put my glove up when Georgie Bracken hit me. And he went whack, and I went, God almighty, I went back <laughs> to the wall. And I went, and it went ding-a-ling, you know. And I'll tell you what, it was the best uh, punch I've ever seen in my life. Because he was in a uh, band of my champion, you know. Yeah. But we were only mucking around and all of a sudden uh, I got this whack and I never, never put my glove up, you know. And he got this whack in the uh, ear.